Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll show you a comparison between the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope and the Dwarf 2 after capturing the Andromeda Galaxy with both telescopes on the same night and in the same time. We will start by showing you Andromeda Galaxy on both these telescopes while in the live uh, stacking mode. While imaging with the two telescopes, I did notice more details and more color noticeable on the door 3 live stacking in live view. I believe if we do have a new telescope like the door 3, it should perform better also on, in live stacking than the old one. These were good news to see that door 3 brings an improvement also in live stacking and we can see more color and uh, sharpness. And now let's go at the PC and see more the results after stacking the data from both telescopes using Serial. I've downloaded the data on the computer and I've started stacking in Serial. I've used the scripts and OSC preprocessing without thread. And here we have 160 images stack of uh, Messier 31 captured with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. And we have this uh, color tint that we'll remove using color calibration. And go here, photometric color calibration. Select M31 and press OK. And this is the image. We have here 40 minutes integration time, 160 images of 15 seconds gain 60 with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Once we've done this step, we can proceed save it and save it and then go stack also the Dwarf 2 image. After that, uh, I'll show you also the Dwarf 2 stack and then we'll uh, import these images in PixInsight to do some uh, post-processing there to see also after how the images will look. So we can check here we have the images with the Dwarf 2. You see the stars are larger. Here if it's header, it will tell us that it's Dwarf 2. Now we copy the images in the light folder in Serial Lights. We'll go back, use the scripts and select OSC preprocessing without flat. And now let's see the results on the Dwarf 2 stack. Run script. We'll be back in a few moments once Serial will finish stacking. Serial just finished stacking. Let's select here Auto Stretch. We'll go color calibration, photometric, and here we select the 100 millimeters lens of the Dove 2 and 1.45 pixel size. Also select here M41 and press OK. And here we have the image. Now looking on uh, this image compared with the Dove 3, I can see directly that the stars are larger. Also have some trails in both images, but they are a little bit more obvious in the Dove 2 image. The image looks a little bit blurrier and I think it's, this is normal also because we do have uh, less resolution with the Dove 2 having smaller focal length. And here we have both images in PixInsight. We are looking now at the Dwarf 3 stack of 40 minutes integration time. And let me show you now the Dwarf 2. Here we can see better the differences. So here is the Dwarf 2 image. It looks blurrier with also larger stars and less color compared with the Dwarf 3 that we have it here. So let's continue and begin with the gradient correction. We'll do this on both images. Also duplicate the images and we'll continue with the gradient correction. We'll select automatic convergence and just apply the gradient correction here on uh, M31. Okay, and let's look at the image before and after. Before after it did remove some of the gradients and let's see the image it does look a little bit better we'll go undo before and redo it removed the gradients now let's apply one of my favorite process here from rc astro the blur exterminator plugin we'll just leave the defaults for now and sharpen star 0 25 and apply it and we see the difference how good it will uh, uh, 
it will collect the stuffs on the dove to image and I really curious I'm really curious to see how well it will work on the dwarf 3. So we'll see in a moment it's finished. Let's see how it looks. See the stars look a little bit weird and larger tails, especially here. So the correction is not perfect on the dove 2 image. Zoom more and go back here to see. Undo and redo. You see, it's much better, but it couldn't correct perfectly. Now let's apply blur exterminator on the dwarf 3 image. We'll uh, drag it here and let's see the difference. And I'm I'm convinced the stars will look better because I've got the same result on other tests. And yes, I was right. And whoa, look at the difference. So we applied blood exterminator on both images, dwarf 2 and dwarf 3. And look how well blood exterminator corrected the dwarf 3 image. Having uh, better tracking, having uh, longer focal length, 150 millimeters, and also larger aperture is visible here on this image. Blood exterminator managed to correct the stars properly. And look, we do have round stars. We do not have any artifacts visible. If you already have a Dove 2 and you want to upgrade, I think this is important to know that with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope, you will be able to get much better looking stars, especially when using Blood Exterminator. We have both images here in Photoshop. We placed also the stars and we already can see a difference here without doing uh, any processing. We do have better color, in my opinion, here in the Dwarf 3 images and also the stars look better. To not have this video too long, I've already processed here a little bit in Adobe Camera Raw and let's see the result. We'll also go there to show you better what I've changed. I played a little bit with the tone curve and with the color channels, especially blue. Then on light, I went and lowered the contrasts and the highlights a little bit, putting his shadows, whites, and also blacks. At color, I increased a little bit the vibrance and saturation. We went also at detail. Here we did some noise reduction a little bit and we went also effects and increased a little bit clarity and the and the haze. The haze making uh, the contrast a little bit better and uh, the background darker. So then I pressed OK. Now it's already saved, so I press cancel. And we apply the same effect also on the Dwarf 3 image. And it will look like this on the Dwarf 2 image. Normally we would process a little bit different because the image is different. However, I wanted to apply the same processing to see how the image will react and how the color will look on the Dwarf 2 image. And it's for me, it's very clear here that the colors look much better here on the image capture with the Dwarf Smart Telescope. The stars look better, the colors of the stars. And yeah, it is definitely easier to process the image with the Dwarf 3 and get better colors. And let's check also now, zoom in a little bit to check the background here. Also on the background, we can see more um, color noise on the Dwarf 2 image compared with Dwarf 3. If we look here on uh, details on the galaxy, we can see the Dwarf 2 image is more blurred and uh, less details visible. That is normal because we have less resolution compared with the Dwarf 3. And look also here, these dust lanes are a much better results here with the Dwarf 3 compared with the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. So these were my results and thoughts regarding this comparison Dwarf 3 versus Dwarf 2. Let me know what you think about this test in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed watching and you find it useful, especially if you are thinking in upgrading from the Dwarf 2 to Dwarf 3. And if you do or you want to buy the Dorsey Smart Telescope, do check the affiliate links from the video description. And uh, don't miss also my future videos. I did make more comparison tests also with the Sistar S50, also with the 10-inch Newtonian, also Dorsey 3 versus a DSLR, capturing Andromeda Galaxy again. And I did make several tests on other targets, like different reflection nebulas or emission nebulas. So don't miss the future videos will be really interesting.
I want to give big thanks to all subscribers that currently support the channel. If you want to support also the channel, you can join the channel membership and also get access to my astrophotography data, including the Dwarf 3 data that I'm sharing for channel members. Thanks for watching. Hope the video was useful and until next time, clear sky.